beautiful YouTube viewers and welcome to my channel. My name is Jay, for those of you who don't know, and I want to say a big hi and thank you for being here. I have another pick a card reading here for you, and this time it's to take a look at messages from your special person. I'm using mainly written messages for this particular spread. It's not going to be very long reading, I don't think, quite a quick um, insight into what your person has to say to you with some guidance cards at the end. I was being guided to do six decks this time, so that's what I've decided to do for you. If you did like this video, then please do give a like, um, share, subscribe, and do hit the notification bell to know when my other readings are being published. And if you were interested in a personal reading, then the details will be in the description be box below. Um, and the email address is heartandsoultarot at outlook.com. We have group number one here, group two, group three, we have group four, group five, and group six. If you need more time, then please pause the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to get started with group number one. Hi, group one, and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look. What does your person want to say to you? We're going to take a look at your guidance cards in a little bit. But first of all, don't put off today what can be done tomorrow. Forward movement, full speed ahead. Nobody gets me like you. Stay authentic. 555, five, five, huge changes, transformations. Trust this is a good for the highest good. So your person is definitely taking action, okay? They want you to know that they are taking um, action to move ahead is what I'm getting here. They are embracing positive changes that they feel are going on in their life at this time um, and possibly within the connection as well. They want you to know that they see you as someone who is very unique and they love that about you and don't want you to change that about you. You know your worth. Happiness is your purpose. Let go of anything that gets in the way of your happiness. Well, we have Twin Flame. I love you like I have never loved anyone. So yeah, this person recognises that you um, know your worth, that you have shown this person perhaps boundaries, healthy boundaries, that you are someone who um, understands that happiness is a purpose of yours and if things, um, if things aren't always happy, you have this ability to understand the lesson and to move forward is what I'm getting with this. And this person is also recognising that you are a deep level of soul connection. They are recognising that you two are soulmates of some kind here. And they love you like they've never loved anyone else. Perhaps that's something that's transforming. Perhaps this person's heart chakra is more open at this time towards you and the connection is what I'm feeling here. Um, but yeah, they love you like they've never loved anyone before. Um, I dream of you so often. Just move these up so you can see. this person is dreaming about you okay so they're thinking about you a lot and they're also dreaming about you nobody gets me like you do beautiful so not only are you very authentic and this person really enjoys that about you okay you get them on a level that nobody else does we've got good old divine timing so they believe in, in divine timing there is this opportunity um, perhaps for you two to come back around again you are closer than you think to achieving your heart's desires. Beautiful. A lot of positivity here. And um, your person, I feel, is very supportive okay, of your spiritual growth, of your career, of you achieving what it is that you set out to achieve in life. I know I was harsh. It was my defence. Will you forgive me? You know the truth. And you can achieve anything. Beautiful. So yeah, this person's got a lot of um, positivity in you. Um, does really want you to achieve your dreams is what I'm feeling here. It does encourage you to reach for the stars. For some of you, okay, this person could have caused a huge transformation within you. That is now allowing you to um, reach these heights that you've never um, had before in life. You are having faith that this is for your highest good. And it's actually um, a transformation that has benefited you and your person is what I'm feeling here. With you know your truth here, I feel that your person already knows that um, you know they feel this way about you um, and that they do actually love you and you probably also know that the reason that they behaved the way they did was a defence mechanism um, with these two cards being here and your person's actually asking for your forgiveness at this time as well. Okay, so let's take a look at your guidance then. We have a high priestess, beautiful. I am one with my soul 
and my soul is a legacy of love, beautiful, positive, lovely energy here. So your person right now wants you to know that um, they do sort of hold you in this very high regard, okay, the high priestess, um, almost put you on a pedestal kind of thing, and they um, really love the authenticity of your soul and I feel that you have triggered something some kind of level of love within them that they've never experienced before it's a real soul connection here definitely um, I also want to say perhaps you have um, helped this person to awaken as well with this um, third eye and crown chakra area being lit up here and then your whispers of love Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. And this is card 34, which is actually a seven, okay? So that's all about um, spiritual journeys. And I do feel this is part of your spiritual journey. This person has definitely played a significant role in um, your spiritual awakening, perhaps, okay? And you, for them, is what I'm getting here. Again, I want to say about authenticity and be very unique, okay? Each individual snowflake is different from the other one. And this beautiful big snowflake here is almost like a gift. And this person sees you as this beautiful, unique gift um, that is handed from them, to them from the divine, okay? This is actually being, you know, given from above here. I feel your person and you have gained wisdom along this journey as well with these feathers being here and a real sense of freedom um, as well and from the mind space and so moving out of mind space and more into this heartfelt area is what I'm feeling for you and your person here but they want to know that you are um, appreciated and they do appreciate the love that you have given them this far and I feel that they um they want you to forgive them and I do feel that the, perhaps they will do want to um, come together with you because I feel that um, they feel you can achieve anything and I feel ultimately you are closer than you think to your heart's desires and I feel one of those strong desires is this connection with this person. And that has been your reading group one. Um, I hope it's been helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you in your situation. I'd like to hear that and I will see you in another reading. Thank you. Bye. Hi there group two and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look. What does your person want to say to you at this time? We'll have a look at your guidance cards in just a moment. You have shown me true love is not just in fairy tales. Become more committed to yourself and your journey. So this person I feel, um, well they have this beautiful fairy tale romance idea about you you've also helped this person to become more grounded and um, committed to their journey of self-discovery is what I feel mirrors are everywhere so you've definitely helped this person um, and they probably helped you as well to realize inner fears um, perhaps why they weren't committed to themselves or whether there wasn't enough self-love for some of them okay why they weren't committed enough to their own journey um, but triggering those things within each other by showing each other um, kind of a reflection of what you both truly were. Um, yeah, so mirrors are everywhere. This person is noticing synchronicities as well as what I'm getting and signs from the universe. They are um, paying attention is what I'm getting here. Today is a good day to love yourself more. Today, tomorrow and always. Beautiful. So like I was just saying, I do feel that part of the reason you two would have met each other was to um, trigger these mirror these things to one another okay to love um to help love yourselves more for the self-love and to be more committed just to who you are on a soul level is what i'm feeling as well as your journey through life you know sorry who knew love could be this intense so this person feels this love very intensely beautiful they want a new beginning with you okay or you um i'm also getting that you've relit something within this person that has opened their eyes to new beginnings perhaps in the past they were um very closed off to any sort of possibilities but I feel that you've kind of brought that back for this person you are on the right path beautiful your touch sends electricity through my body wow that's lovely okay so this person um as well as enjoying being around you okay um I do feel this is a very intense energy for this particular group okay with the mirrors here and this electricity and um, there could even be electricity or this beautiful vibe between the two of you just when you're in the same room as each other it doesn't even have to be touching and um, there's this intoxicating energy that surrounds the two of you and obviously then with physical contact that's um it's electrifying together we can achieve anything beautiful i am on my own journey right now 
pay attention, signs are everywhere. So like I was saying, this person is definitely getting signs, okay? I'm advising them of whether they are on the right path or not. And I feel that you would be too, okay? And there is obviously faith here with this, um, you are on the right path here. Um, I'm also getting with this, I'm on my own journey right now. Your person is more committed to their own journey. Um, as the first couple of cards suggested, you've shown this person that true love does exist. And that has helped them to become more committed to their own journey. Um, so they do want this new beginning with you. Um, but I feel that they, they're they going through some sort of transformation here, okay? So that um, they can come towards you with equal give and take is what I want to say. Because with this um, together, we can achieve anything. I feel that you've shown this person that the possibilities are endless. So your vision is changing. Right now, this is all too much for me. So kind of like what I was just saying, this person's going through some sort of a transformation at this moment. Um, and they are going through a new beginning of their own in some ways, okay, um, on this journey that they're on. And it is all part of a process is what I'm getting here. Kind of like a rebirth, sort of like the death and rebirth process here. Believe in your inner magic, ones are false. This person is having faith, like I've said, with this new beginning. It's not only a new beginning with you, this person wants. It's they've seen opportunities elsewhere. They're starting to believe in magic again, and they are starting to believe that they're worth it because there is a sense here, um, perhaps, that um, this person isn't quite ready with this um, self love, particularly in the first um, line here, okay? You have changed the way I see love. Wonderful. You are my wish fulfillment. So yeah, you've changed the way this person sees love, okay? Perhaps, like I say, in the past, this person didn't really believe, didn't think that love was all that magical. And then, boom, you come along and their view has totally changed. Their outlook on what love is has changed. Um, acceptance as well, I want to say, perhaps you accepted this person um, for who they truly were. And that's shown them on some levels who they truly were and given them the ability to love themselves more. I don't love myself enough yet. It kind of makes sense when this person's on their own journey right now and all this is too much for them because they are learning about this self-love that is so important to have this faith in their own inner magic. Um, but ultimately they do see you as this beautiful wish fulfillment with this card here. And then your last written message is actually 1111, 11, alignment at its finest. This is about divine timing, okay, but things come in together in divine timing. Um, but with this right, you're on the right path and now this alignment here, you could be noticing 1111 11 everywhere. Um, 1111 11 just signifies that you are on the right path here definitely um, to your ultimate wish fulfillment for yourself is what I feel here as well. And to this brand new beginning that I feel you're embarking on um, with or without your person. So yeah, what I'm also feeling with that, you know, 11, 11, like I say, you could be noticing synchronicities and things like that, but it's also the number of soulmate or a twin flame connection, so that is a strong possibility with this group. Okay, so let's take a look at your guidance now, and we have the Saint of Authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Beautiful. So this person, I feel, um, while you've shown this person your true self and you've sort of relit this within them um this passion within them you've also been very authentic about it throughout this journey and your person is learning i feel to be more authentic and to accept things for as they are is what i'm getting perhaps in the past there was something of um pessimist then okay um but now they're starting as they're realizing their true self they're starting to have a more positive outlook in general is what i feel they could be learning as well okay this person's holding um some notes here um that could be of significance i'm also being drawn to the fingers here as well so perhaps two is of significance for some of you and um, yes perhaps this person is thinking about writing you a message giving some sort of um open honest and authentic communication your way is what I feel then we have slow down pause and allow things to unfold we have the number nine here okay so this person is completing cycles at the moment okay I'm on their own journey in order to have this new beginning with me uh, with you is what I'm feeling here so yeah right now things might be on a pause okay things might be uh, appearing to be on standstill okay or, or certainly not moving very quickly then um, but we've got these two flames that are still burning for each other here in this um, fish energy here so Pisces could be of significance here but yeah, I feel it's going to be a slow dance um, towards the end goal but I feel it's all going to be forward movement in the end for you I do say feel this person's going to come towards you with some sort of authentic um, real 
communication then okay perhaps at the moment things are a bit sporadic or maybe even as i say completely at a standstill with these cards being here um, but i do feel this person's going to communicate something with you in regards to their truth in regards to um perhaps the fact that they are on this journey on their own at this time and that's why um they haven't been in touch but ultimately as i say this person does see you as wish fulfillment you could be noticing a lot of synchronicities okay they do feel this is some sort of a soul connection here the beautiful new beginnings are on their way to you group two and that has been your reading so please let me know in the comments below if it has been helpful and um, i do hope it has please do give a like share subscribe and i shall see you in another reading thank you bye hi there group three and welcome to your reading okay this is the amethyst group so let's have a look what does your person want to say to you at this time i'm gonna take it this way actually we have i am wiser now so your person has learned lessons they are feeling wiser now when you believe in magic, magic finds a way. Beautiful. So they are hopeful, okay, about this connection right now. Um, I feel that they are wiser in regards to um, lessons in regards to listening to their intuition and speaking their truth with the purple and blue here. You have the power to change your life. Trust yourself. So they have more faith in general is what I'm getting here, okay? More faith in their own abilities, standing into their true power here. I have sexy thoughts about you all of the time, okay, so this person is thinking about you passionately, you are on this person's mind, beautiful, they think you are beautiful, okay, and um, they feel, what I'm getting from here, there's a sense of appreciation and gratitude for the lessons that have been learned along the way, okay, with it coming under this I am wiser here. I know we have spent many lifetimes together, beautiful, so they believe that um, you have spent many lifetimes together, they are having faith in this being some sort of a soul connection here, be your own best friend, you have 999, time to finish something, completion unlocks the next level for you, or the next step for you, sorry. Okay, so with those being here, what I'm getting is this person is learning to enjoy their own company, okay? Perhaps in the past they were someone who um, socialised quite a lot or something like that, but they're learning to go within themselves and to find the answers within themselves and learning to appreciate their own time is what I feel with this particular group. Um, yeah, they're working right now to finish things that they need to finish or for some of them, okay, they could still be in this energy of avoiding, okay? So they are still spending too much time... Um, doing other things but what i feel is going to happen is they're going to go within themselves and finally unlock the next step for them and that then unlocking the next step in the connection then allowing them to move forward with you in this connection then yeah because patience are required at this time okay your person wants you to know and wants you to be patient with them um zero 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 we have a fresh start you are at one with the universe beautiful so yeah brand new beginning this person does want a new beginning with you they do want a fresh start um but right now they have to finish something up and what's really interesting obviously 999 and then we've got this fresh start so the completion of something like i said i do feel even if they're avoiding it right now they will go within themselves and they will finish up whatever it is they need to finish up it's going to be different for obviously different circumstances here for some of them you know it's healing um it's healing for all of them actually but what i mean is some of them it could be um childhood healing for some of them it could be working with addictions it could be um leaving a relationship whatever it is to allow for this beautiful brand new start with you I want you so much. So yeah, definitely a lot of passion here. Okay, could be dealing with fire signs here, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or Leo, um, Sagittarius, or Aries. But yeah, this person does have a lot of passion for you, for sure. Transformations are in the air. Butterflies are near. Wonderful. So there is definitely a transformation here. This um, unlocking, this next step, this completion is involved in some sort of a transformation here, okay? Because... Um, and I feel that is going to allow for your person to stand even further into their energy. They're taking back control of their life is what I'm getting for this group, okay? Um, they are taking back control of their life and standing into their true power and believing that they can achieve anything they put their mind to is what I feel with this group. Well, we have one, one, one. Focus on what you want. Your manifestation powers are on fire. So with this card being here, your person is believing in this magic. They are believing in their own power to create a life that they want. Um, and I do feel that, that um, involves you with this. I want you so much here. Family issues play a big part in my love life. Okay, so your person could, as I said, be dealing with healing at the moment and it could be in relation to childhood wounds. It could be family related for some of them. 
I see us together in the future. So even if um, things don't look as bright as you would like them right now, your person definitely has this um, sense of faith that you will be together in the future. I am working on being a better version of myself. That's wonderful. This person's actually taking the time out, okay, to be their own best friend, to look within so that they can end any painful cycles that might have been occurring okay, within, in their life, within your life, within the connection. Um, just looking within themselves. And I feel that you're probably doing this in your life as well. But looking to be a better version of themselves as a result of meeting you because they are wiser now. Well, I miss you. So this person is definitely um, longing to be with you, missing you. You are healing. You are healed. Beautiful. So yeah, this person is transitioning from that healing stage into a healed version of themselves. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I do feel that is going to result in the signal within themselves. It's going to. It's not going to be a pleasant ride for them, but I feel they're now ready to take this because they have this faith, this magic, something. Um, they might have had a towel moment or something like that, but something has hit them that has made them realise that they actually can transform things if they choose to. And I do strongly feel this group is choosing to transform things i need to repair the damage i have caused but how so your person is aware okay that you know they might have messed up in the past but they do want to fix things in this connection they do want this brand new beginning with you um they actually want a clean slate as well as what i'm getting they want to reset to zero 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 so your guidance cards then I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Wow, okay, that's really fitting with this particular message. Um, perhaps your person didn't have faith in the past. Perhaps you didn't have faith. Perhaps you've given up on this connection at this time. But there is definitely possibility here. Um, this beautiful energy. Impossible causes. Perhaps your person... Um, was or you know felt like they were an impossible cause that nothing could um, reach them and, and you reached them with your inner magic is what I'm feeling here okay you've shown them that magic is um, still alive you've relit something almost like this picture is showing here this passion that's been relit here and that is um, allowing for your person to have faith and to believe and I feel that you're someone who is very in tune with um, your own power to create things as well and you could be manifesting this person back listen with your heart you are listening but you need to hear with a loving heart and we have the card number one here okay so brand new beginning again indicated here i do feel your person is going to approach you with something okay that they are speaking from the heart and they want you to be open to receiving that um and to to listen with your heart not to apply too much logic not to overthink things just to um listen with your heart there. they could even offer you some sort of gift as well okay i'm actually being drawn to these dolphins up here as well now so um i feel this person sees you as someone who's very loyal okay and also someone who's very magical with these unicorns here and again the fish the fish could be of significance okay but water could be of significance in general so scorpio pisces cancer um but I feel it's the sticking together um, through thick and thin, that kind of, how they, how fish kind of like um, all swarm together should something go wrong. But yeah, possibly handing you a gift, but definitely wanting to communicate with you from a heartfelt space is what I get you. Um, because they do ultimately want this brand new beginning with you. Patients are involved here, okay, though, because your person is tying up some sort of a cycle right now. Um, but they really do miss you and they're working on being... Um, a better version of themselves to allow for a more balanced connection going forward for you and that has been your reading group three um i hope this reading has been helpful please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation and please do give a like share subscribe and i will see you in another reading thank you bye hi group four and welcome to your reading okay let's take a look what does your person want you to know at this time what do they have to say to you so we have 333 three, three, Ascended Masters are here. You are in great hands. Oh, beautiful. So they want you to know. I feel that you have a very strong connection with your um, spirit guides and your ancestors, okay? And I feel that your person understands that you have some sort of spiritual connection here and wants you to know that you are in good hands and to keep faith is what I'm feeling here as well. 
Then we have 666, refocus your thoughts, reconnect with your spirituality. So yeah, right now perhaps you are struggling a little bit and your person wants you to know that you are um, supported, okay, and you have the ability to turn things around is what I'm getting here. You've got this, yeah, definitely. This person's very supportive, okay? They do want you to know um, that they do support you is what I feel here. And they are, um, they want you to know that you're in great hands. I have a huge ego, so okay, although this person might be, you know, thinking this way, okay, perhaps they don't express it very well because they have this huge ego here. Time to let go of control and allow. I feel your person wants things to flow between you. I feel they want to remove any um, control, be it on their part or be it on your part. Okay, it's going to be different from each of you. Um, but what I get from that is just, you know, let things flow flow and move away from any ego-based energy okay into a more free-flowing and spiritual place your smile lights up the world smile so even if you are going through a difficult time right now um your person wants you to know that your smile is very precious to them um but it does kind of make a sunny energy i'm actually feeling like a warm um, energy coming from that for them even though I don't show it, you mean the world to me. Like I said, I feel with this huge ego, this person probably doesn't express the way they feel very um, openly and honestly, okay? They probably keep it all to themselves, um, which is, you know, why this time to let go of control is here. But ultimately, they do think the world of you and your smile what lights up the world. It lights up their world. Um, so, yeah, they definitely think the world of you. We've got alarm bells are ringing here. Perhaps your person is panicking right now, okay, because... Um, because they don't know how to tackle with this ego or perhaps they feel the need that they need to speak their truth to you okay maybe time is running out is what i'm getting here just the thought of you gets me all hot and bothered so yeah this person's thinking about you a lot is what i'm getting here okay and um i feel they are thinking about you passionately but i also feel it's this alarm the fact it's come after this alarm bells are ringing here okay your person is flustered um they feel the need to take some sort of action they they realize i feel for this particular group that you could actually be walking away from this connection i knew the first time i met you my life would never be the same again wow that's huge okay so yeah as soon as this person realized i uh, sorry as soon as the person met you they realized this is going to be a significant connection in their life and you probably had that feeling as well um and i do feel that you kind of like drawn towards each other this huge magnetic pull between the two of you you are relighting your own fire, hot stuff, beautiful. So this person sees you working on yourself is what I'm getting with this here, okay? You know, there is this passion as well, okay? They do still think of you um, as very attractive, okay? Um, and I'm seeing that flame energy, is, it's almost like a moth to a flame kind of energy as well with this. Um, but yeah, they see that you are relighting your own um, fire. You are working on yourself right now. You are working on your life right now. And you know they're proud of you is the message I'm getting there. I want union with you. I'm almost ready. But I have to move away from the connection for now. I feel more than I am letting on. Okay, so although this person, like this alarm bells is ringing, okay, they want to come towards you. They've got this message. I feel there's almost a sense of urgency here, okay. They're not quite ready. They are almost ready, but they are not quite ready yet. Which is why they've got to move away from the connection for now. Um, although they do feel more than they're letting on. We've got man down here, so that's actually from a song, okay, um, and yeah, you know, man down, this person's been hit with the feels and they weren't expecting it, basically. Um, I prefer to keep this casual, so yeah, usually this person is someone who keeps things casual, I do feel um, almost like a boyish energy, okay, I'm um, not to be insulting or anything, but a sort of immature energy when it comes to settling down, they are somebody who generally keeps things casual um, and they weren't expecting these feels at all is what I'm getting. Then we have, there are many lessons to learn. I'm afraid to commit. Trust what you feel you are safe to do so. So trust in your intuition at this time. Um, and this person, like I was saying about how I feel your person realises you have a very special bond with your spirit guides. Um, you are very spiritual perhaps, okay. Your person um, has faith in what you feel and what you trust. Your intuition is spot on is what they feel actually. Um, and that might have even scared them and freaked them out a little bit. But they are afraid to commit at the moment. Can they have got these life lessons that they still need to learn along the way? Um, I do feel there's kind of like itch, an itch to make um, contact with you, okay. Um, 
because ultimately they do feel more than what they're letting on um, and they do see you making this progress and there's almost like this, this urgency because they, they may be afraid that they are going to lose you at this time. So then we have the Empress of Protection. I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. Beautiful energy here. And this could be the energy that I feel that you are offering yourself right now, okay? I do feel for many of you watching this, um, you are loving yourself a lot at the moment. You are keeping yourself um, divinely protected. For some of you, perhaps you have walked away from this connection in the past as well and get in here um, in order to protect yourself. Um, know that you are being guided um, you know, by your ancestors and ascended masters and this beautiful empress energy. You could be the divine feminine energy within this connection or um, you could be male or female, it doesn't really matter. It's that beautiful feminine quality there. But yeah, I know that you are held in love and this person um, sees you in a very high light as well. They actually see you as some sort of stars, what I feel with all these stars around you. Um, and perhaps they are manifesting and praying, perhaps you are manifesting and praying at this moment. This person does want you to know that you are guided, though, that you are protected, that you somebody has got your back. So even if they're not there with you, they want you to know that you are being held in love at all times. Then we have rest and relaxation is essential. We all fundamentally need to take a break. This is number 42, um, you know, which comes down to a six. It's about balance, it's about harmony, it can speak about relationships as well. We've got those dolphins there, so very loyal energy that actually come out in um, group number three as well. Um, but yeah, relaxation and rest at the moment. Perhaps you do need to take a break, okay? Um, or perhaps your person right now is taking a break and really reflecting is what I'm feeling, okay? Trying to get some... Um, I want to say kind of like um, up and down, okay? I feel your person could be very up and down at the moment, which is why they're kind of taking a break um, so that they can really reflect on things and what they truly want and truly desire. They definitely see you as somebody who is very loyal, someone who is very creative as well as what I'm getting here, and someone who really does shine your own inner light out into the world. And I say ultimately, I do feel that this person feels a lot more than they are letting on for you. Um, they're very proud of the fact that you are um, sort of getting on with it and you are relating passions of your own perhaps things that you haven't done for a long time creative energy as well perhaps maybe you've started painting or you know writing there's something like that that um is really setting your soul on fire right now and your person wants you to know that um, ultimately you are in the hands of love at all times and that has been your reading group four please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation i'd like to hear that that would be awesome um, and yeah, please do give a like, share, subscribe, and I shall speak to you soon. Take care and thank you. Bye. Hi there, group five, and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's take a look. What does your person want to say to you at the moment? So we have, I can't leave my current situation right now. So right now, okay, your person, as much as you might be on their mind, as much as they might have feels for you, we're about to find out, um, they can't leave their current situation at the moment. I am feeling for some of them, okay, this could be a third party situation, and um, it could be something that, um, or distance, there could be some sort of outside influence with this particular group. Take the opportunity being presented to you. Your person wants you to take the opportunities that life is offering you at the moment, okay? And um, what I'm getting is that they want to take the opportunity that's being presented with you as well. However, right now they can't um, leave the current situation. We have 888, money and financial abundance are heading your way. So your person sees you as somebody who is very prosperous has um, prosperity who is very abundant okay um in money um finances as well as in love as well okay this could be someone that you've had a very back and forth um energy with as well is what i'm getting with that trust in the process and believe in yourself i do feel that you are somebody okay who does um trust in everything sort of happens for a reason that kind of energy there and your person is learning to believe in that as well as what i'm getting as well as um learning to believe in themselves more they've seen this um sort of inner confidence from you then okay and they um have been inspired to believe in themselves more as a result you feel like home to me beautiful this person does definitely feel very comfortable around you okay and um, they feel the warmth of your connection is what i really get you um but i'd say and i do feel they want to take this opportunity with you but i feel there's something holding them back there's something they can't escape right now how could I do that two years? This person could have, you know, walked away from this connection 
um, for whatever reason, okay, different for all of you, of course. For some of you, okay, it could have actually been a committed relationship with us. You feel like home to me. Perhaps you did actually have a home together. Um, and I do feel this person has walked away um, due to something on the outside of this connection. I don't feel it was the connection itself. I feel that the energy was still very much alive within the connection. There is something external that has sort of distracted from this, um, sort of like a divine detour, if you like. You are so compassionate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, your person sees you as someone who is very compassionate, who is very loyal, who is very loving. Seeing the Queen of Cups energy here could be water sign, okay? Um, could be air signs as well. Doesn't really matter though. But yeah, your person sees you as someone who is very compassionate. Thank you. Gratitude goes a long way. So they're very grateful to have known you, to know you, have you in their life, okay, or to have had you in their, their life. Um, they do see, um, definitely see great potential in you, okay, and you've taught them to be more grateful for things in general as well, is what I feel. We are mirroring each other. So you're mirroring each other's fears to each other right now. You're mirroring each other's desires to each other, okay? Um, I'm also seeing it's kind of like a devil energy, so temptation there, okay? So passion as well is what I'm getting here. But yeah, I do feel that um, you could have triggered each other within this connection. I hide my true feelings. Kind of makes sense here, okay? Um, you know, this person... As much as they might want to take this opportunity with you, they can't right now, which um, so maybe makes them feel there's no point in expressing their feelings for others of them. It's um, because they've done this something to the connection or something to you, okay, that's caused a lot of grief and a lot of hurt, um, and that's why they're hiding their feelings at this moment. Stay focused on your own life. The rest will take care of itself, and that's typical with... Um, connections that mirror to us okay when we're focusing on our life um if this person is kind of like you know, a deep soul connection or a twin flame kind of vibe then as you are focusing on your life and you're improving yourself so they will energetically kind of feel that shift is what um the message is here i feel but yeah stay focused on who you are authentically as well don't allow this connection to make you um hard is what i get as it's come under the compassion as well Love is patient, love is kind. Go ahead and love yourself today. Um, sorry, love yourself. Okay, so yeah, but love yourself today. Love yourself every day. Um, this person really loves the fact that you are very patient and you have been extremely kind to them. You have shown them a lot of love and affection is what I get you. Um, and they do understand that you are somebody who does appreciate self-love. You put in the effort to love yourself um, and pour from a cup that is already overflowing. You rock my world. So yeah, you've rocked this person's world. Okay, you've mixed things up for them. I didn't do feelings and then I met you. So yeah, that's why you've rocked this person's um, world and maybe another reason why they're hiding their true feelings here, okay? Because they didn't even do feelings and then boom, you come along and you've completely stirred things up for them. Your smile still haunts me, okay, so those of you who are in separation, this person is still looking at um, your pictures or just those memories that they have with you. Um, I do feel you have a very sunny smile, okay, something. Um, and I feel you're the kind of person who can make somebody smile no matter what the situation, or you at least have this effect on this person. Then. It may seem difficult at the moment, but it's all serving a higher purpose. You have taught me to love myself more. Wonderful. And wow, I will return. But right now, I am he I have to heal. So wonderful here. Okay, so right now, things might be a bit difficult. Okay, it's difficult for your person as well is what I'm getting here. It is serving all some sort of higher purpose. Okay, we do have the mirroring card here. So it could be dealing with a high level of soulmate, even a twin flame connection here. But you have taught this person about self-love. Like I was saying earlier on, I do feel that you are someone who loves yourself and um, you have been very patient and kind with this person, and you've triggered that within them. And this person ultimately wants you to know that they will return, but right now they're doing their inner healing work. Again, another reason why they can't take this opportunity that's being presented to them, they can't leave the situation right now. They have to do this inner healing work um, because they understand that it is part of a higher purpose here, um, because ultimately um, they do feel that you will come back around and back together with them. Let's take a look at your, oh yeah, because they will return, but they have to heal. Okay, so let's take a look at your 
oracle cards and we have Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Beautiful. So definitely some sort of a divine connection here, okay? Um, you are being supported by the divine throughout this connection. Could have been some sort of spiritual awakening transformation for the pair of you here as well. Um, but it's giving birth to a brand new version of yourselves. This is a blessed connection as well. Um, and Perhaps your person will be handing you some sort of a gift, this flower here, perhaps um, flowers are of significance to you, daisy or um, the purity as well is what I'm getting from that. Because the flower is white, I do feel a very pure energy um, with this card in general actually, but especially the crown chakra here, I feel that you and your person could be connecting in the um, 5D so telepathically then. Well, the heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. Wonderful. So, yeah, I definitely feel that you could be connecting in the 5D, okay? There is lots going on behind the scenes. I do feel your person is feeling more than they are letting on, for sure. Um, this is also about getting to the heart of the matter of what it is you want um, in love and in life as well, okay? So, looking deep within yourself as well to sort of um, relate your own passion and um, be your own co-creator then. We have the number 22 here, you know, one of the divine numbers here as well, 1111 then, 22, okay. Um, but yeah, this is a blessed union and I do feel there is more going on than meets the eye. We ha actually have a child here and we do have the word um, courage that gives birth to the divine. Obviously, I feel that is with the connection, this brand new beginning, um, but there could obviously be children involved here as well for some of you. And dream time, I feel, is of significance as well. I feel this person is particularly dreaming about you. Or night times are of significance when this person is um, is having this wake-up call, is having this time to reflect, is really finding gratitude. Perhaps in the past they weren't very grateful for the lessons within the connection, but they certainly are now. And as I say, right now they are working on themselves um, to heal themselves because ultimately they want to return to you. And that has been your reading. Um, I do hope it has been helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if it resonates with you and your situation. I'd love to hear that. And if you could give a like, a share, subscribe, that would mean a lot to me as well. And I shall see you in another reading. Take care. Bye. Hi there, group six, and welcome to your reading. Let's take a look. What does your person want to say to you? Let's have a look. We have reach for the stars and chase your dreams beautiful your person um, wants you to achieve everything you put your mind to everything you've got your heart set on and um, they really want you to really reach for the stars as the card suggests and really achieve your dreams and destiny two 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 stop worrying everything is working out as it is supposed to so your person wants you to have faith at this time okay have faith in your own voice as well as what i'm feeling for you here for some of you, you could actually be singers or um perhaps you speak a lot in public or something like that okay um, and this is a message of support is what i get there wow we have i love you so your person wants you to know that they love you and this is on a blue background as well okay so it's about truth here the passion and chemistry with you blows my mind. Okay, so this person not only loves you, okay, they have this beautiful passionate connection with you. There is a deep level of um, chemistry as well within this connection. I am sorry I hurt you. Okay, so perhaps this person has pulled away from the connection or perhaps in some way they have hurt you, okay, and they are sorry for that. There is an element of remorse here. I have many lessons to learn. So, yeah, they could be learning lessons at this time, okay? I feel that you would probably be learning lessons along with this person. Um, and that during learning these lessons, unfortunately, that has caused for some hurt to um, come about you. It's time for you to step out of your comfort zone. So, again, this makes me think that, you know, your person is very supportive of you. They want you to sort of reach out of your comfort zone um, to take away the barriers that you might have around you for some of you as well as what I'm getting here okay within the connection as well as and um, the outside world really show the world what you've got is what the message I'm getting here when you give out compliments don't forget to include yourself so perhaps you are someone who um, does compliment a lot of other people okay you're always um, empowering others um, make sure you are complimenting yourself at this time as well and with it coming under the I love you as much as this is a message from your person okay it's a message for self-love as well um, so don't be afraid to say I love you every now and again Spiritual enlightenment is underway. Beautiful. This person's going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You could be um, going through some sort of spiritual awakening as well at this moment, okay? Um, and these lessons are unfolding as a result of the spiritual journey you're on. 
your dreams are messages from your angels and ancestors so you could be channeling you could be getting dreams and messages your person <coughs> excuse me <coughs> your person is dreaming about you is dreaming about the connection they are having a wake up um an awakening at the moment and they want you to know that well, we have 777, seven, seven. luck is on your side, the ultimate spiritual path, beautiful, you two are on some sort of spiritual journey together here, you are on this ultimate spiritual path together, um, I love you, and the self-love is of significance, I feel, okay, it is all part of the spiritual journey, you understand the importance of self-love, wow, okay, that's, yeah, exactly what I was just saying, this, this whole journey, this um, connection with your person, a big part of that is understanding the importance of self-love. You have 444, your angels are surrounding you. They are guiding you through this. So you've got a lot of synchronized numbers here, okay? Um, and obviously your angels are around you at this time, guiding you through whatever it is you're going through at the moment. You could be going through a stressful time, okay, with this. You know, everything is going to be okay, don't worry. It's easy to say don't worry, isn't it? It's not as easy if you're going through that experience. But yeah, you are being divinely guided here for sure. Regain your passion for life. This is a love like no other. We will come back together. I feel it too. Honour your truth always. I feel you've spoken your truth to this person, okay? Could have triggered them to withdraw, okay? Um, which is possibly why this I hurt you card come out. Um, anyway, whichever, which way it went down for you. And this person does believe that you will come back together. They are regaining a passion for life. And I also feel that you have... Um, help this person with that part of this journey okay to self-love um help them realize that they are actually worth um the effort putting the time and effort into themselves as well as others or um situations that probably weren't serving them for some of them in the past this is the love like no other it's not like anything they've experienced in the past <clears throat> it is very special to your person Travel is on the cards, spiritual and physical. So yeah, definitely um, a spiritual awakening going on here. And I do feel you are definitely on this journey together. I have, I know I may never get you back. And wow, you have triggered my spiritual awakening. So yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, this person is going through a spiritual awakening. And they understand that um, because of things that have happened in the past, perhaps for some of you, okay, they understand they may not get you back. Um, right now they are kind of on their own journey, okay, doing